Hello, I'm Victoria Carlton, but most children call me Vicky. I'm going to read to you from this book, this wonderful book. It's the Lectionary Story Bible, Year A, by Ralph Milton. And I'm going to read you the reading for Trinity Sunday, one of the readings for Trinity Sunday. And this is taken from Genesis 1, all right? The first, the first book in the Bible. And it's a story that people told many years ago. And they told this story because they were trying to understand why God made the world. I want you to close your eyes very tight. You can't see anything, right, with your eyes closed? Now, let's pretend. Pretend you can imagine nothing. That's right, nothing. Imagine a long, long time ago when there was no world, no stars, no animals, no people, no you. Just nothing. Now imagine that even though there was nothing, God was there. Before there was anything, there was God. Because God isn't a something, God just is. It's very hard to imagine that, isn't it? But that's the way the Bible tells it. It what tells us it was at the very beginning. God was there. God was there like a strange light that is everywhere but doesn't come from anywhere. The light didn't shine on anything because there was nothing to shine on. Can you imagine that? And you can open up your eyes wide right now. God had an idea. Let there be light, said God, and it happened. Maybe it was like a really loud whoosh. Scientists called it a big bang, a bigger bang than you could ever imagine a bigger flash of bursting light. Out of all that nothing, God made something. Out of that big bang came stars, gazillions of stars, all the stars you can see in the night sky. You can see even more stars if you look through a telescope. Some of the stars have planets and moons. One of the stars that God made was our sun that shines in the sky every day. And one of those planets was our Earth, the one you live on right now. One of the moons was our moon, the one we see at night. And God said, that's good. God kept having ideas. God kept making things, lakes and rivers and oceans, trees and plants, animals and bugs. God made things slowly and carefully and sometimes it took many many years more years than you can imagine to make things scientists call that evolution i want you to have a look at this picture this is one of my favorite pictures in this book and god said that's good then god said i'm going to make people each person will be like the animals in many ways, but in one special way, these humans will be like me. So God made people, people like you, and inside each one of us, God put some of the light that was there before there was anything. You have some of that light inside you. People can see that light shining in your eyes when you laugh. Sometimes they also see God's light when you cry and sometimes they see that light when you are just being you and then God looked at all creation God looked at the stars the world the mountains and trees and flowers and bugs God looked at the animals and the birds God even looked at things so tiny we can't see them bacteria and molecules and atoms and protons God looked at the people God looked at the babies and the children and the adults and the old people. God looked at people with dark skins and light skins. God looked at all the many kinds of people. Then God said to the people, I'm giving you this beautiful world, this beautiful universe. Please take good care of it. Please be kind to it. And when it was all done, God said, this is all very good. 
and God smiled a smile as wide and beautiful as the rainbow. So what I would love you to do now is to get some paper and perhaps draw a picture about the wonderful planet that we live on. And maybe you could think about some of the ways that we could help to look after planet Earth as well. Thank you for listening and watching.